So hello to all my fellow paramotor pilots. This is the exhaust system from a Vitarazzi Moster 185 dual start. I had a problem with a cracked pipe and it's something that was really odd and really hard to detect and caused me to do a whole bunch of work on the engine that I wouldn't have had to do. So ultimately it cracked all the way down through here. Now this has all been welded. I welded it myself with one of those $110 wire feed welders and that's about the quality I got. It, in uh, short, it sucked. But here's the deal. On this exhaust, there is a metal reinforcement plate right here. This is not the exhaust itself. This is not the inner liner. This is actually added on the outside of my exhaust. And so what I did was I tried to weld all the way around it because there's a crack underneath here. And the interesting thing is that it's cracked here, but it didn't make it a whole lot louder because this metal plate only has slits that open in different spots because they welded certain areas. And... Um, so it kind of muffled the sound, but it really wreaked havoc, havoc, and it made me have a really hard time flying. The engine just wouldn't run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hack this plate off, and I'm going to show you guys what's underneath. So here's what I found. Now, let me orient you. Neck of the pipe connects to the motor right there. Reinforcement plate. There's two layers of sheet metal on the neck to about, if you follow it, it's like 12 or 14 inches down if you follow it around the outside. So I don't know what this is, honestly. I don't know if this is supposed to be a heat shield or what, but there's the crack. This is the reason why my engine kept giving out after five or 10 minutes of flight. It would cut back to idle. It would do crazy stuff. I, um, I changed out the coil. I cleaned the carb. I put on a new carb, I checked the air filter, I flushed out the gas tank, I replaced the um, clunker and the drop line in the gas tank, I replaced the gas lines up to the carb, I replaced the breather tubes, I ended up replacing the head o-ring, piston, wrist pin, wrist pin roller bearings, um, because ultimately what happened was the motor got way overheated. Um, but I think that this was my problem all along, and I will tell you what, it's not easy to tell that you have this leak. It's not easy to tell that you have this problem, and I would venture to say that most of you don't even realize that there is an extra plate here, reinforcement plate. So, there's the crack. That's what I got for you. If you're having trouble, put your hand over that silencer and see if your engine quits you know you got no cracks if your engine doesn't quit then find out where the exhaust is coming from thanks